I feel like we've been traveling for a city for the, like, the last five or six hours. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but, well, the, the simple idea is we'll try and see who can make the most money. It's like, it's like playing a game. Like a video it's, game? Yeah, it's like, you know, it's like you say, like... We've given 2,000 pounds for this. Like, best car bought and best car sold. We just need to put them on the rear, not the front that matters. No. That's what we did last time, I see. Yeah. <laughs> well, it annoys me that people could do the research, can't they? Because yeah, we'll have to do the yeah. research for it. I'm spoon Google feed it, it to you. Yeah. So Google 997 yeah. PCD, it'll come up. Is it the same as your Audi TT? They want someone else to tell them. Oh, nice. oh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Oh, no, it isn't. Oh. No, tell it's offline. Or the printer? Yeah. Uh, just on. been printing. Why can't we get any fucking luck with printers? Yeah. <laughs> what about like, a little ledge for it? Oh, I suppose you'd have to stick yeah, the ledge. Yeah, that. If I stick it up close to the front, I could just wedge something in here, though. And that was yeah. yeah, I'll just, yeah, just put some top to bottom that holds it. Or maybe, yeah, with a block there, yeah. That's yeah. what we need, really. The 
didn't slide. I realised I should have taken this film off. We go and take the um, the camp room for his OEC. Should pass. We need to do tires first in the morning. Do you think they need to be done? Because it's not. Yeah, because yeah. they failed it last time. Do they go on like what it can hold, pretty much? Yeah, because because yeah. they're yeah. off-road tires. They're not commercial tires. So. Oh, it's got to be the seat. The, the it's it fine is. on the front, just not on the back. Oh, there's Jason. We have to place this front. It's a whole display there. Oh, that car. There we go. <laughs> Fair enough. Get you to do a little uh, thing on there that displays all the number plates we got for sale. And then we haven't got to have them out on the wall out there. We can clean up the wall and give us a bit more spice. You could ditch, I, I can show you a thing where you can make like a number, so you type in the thingies and it makes the number plate, save it as a PNG, and then you could have like, say like Leo for example, you could put that at the top, price, and then be like Leo, question mark, your, whatever the second part could mean, and then I'll see hers gone anyway, but we got Leah, Lee, whatever, whatever. I can't believe it's four o'clock. Today is full Is this wheel like cambered as fuck? It is to be fair, I don't see that. Is that no. Does that break off? Ah, neutral. Oh, that went out. That Go! Went out. <laughs> Go! Go in! The brakes, the brakes are on, mate. I'm off the brake. Everything, you're off everything. Fuck! Yeah. No wonder the winch was struggling so much. We only got to see his caliper. Three. One, three, two, one, go! Three, two, one, go! Keep the momentum. Don't you dare touch that brakes. That's Frank. Oh my god. Go, go, go! Fast as you can. Watch out, don't fall off my heart. Alright, steer a little bit. Fuck me! Oh, yeah. This way. I was about to say, going over a muddy patch, someone's definitely stacking it. The thing weighs about 20 stuff done. The brakes have got to be locked on. <laughs> yeah, so I'll take my foot off the brake now, how's that? Oh, oh no. I mean, yeah.
the state tag up on it. So we put it on up. So the body. That's from 40. Well, it's SG1 and 40S, yeah. Where the postcode takes place. That's where I'm going to the TV. Unless Jason spelled it so wrong that I'm not going there, but we'll find out when we're there. That's cool. Uh, that means that you can move out the way again, right there. Move up and up on the Navarro up and then up here. That's true. Now I'll uh, reverse back up to that. I just turned the steering wheel and it's like, ah! I'm like, oh, that's uh. No, I'm not heavy enough. <laughs> Have you dropped the truck down? Yep. Has it slipped off that wood that side? No, it's on there. Uh, I reckon someone's already. Day, it was about a millimetre. Yeah, it's low this. It's low. Yeah, I picked it up without words. I had to just, I was with the customers that way, just going to have to scrape it. I, I, I could see. You could see it just then. It was like, no trip on the back for quite a long time. I was going to give you one of them. Bring them now. Fair enough. I don't really bring them when I'm an hour away, but we're probably like bring them at the first start of the day, which makes sense, okay? Maserati has to be on charge, basically. 
Josh is doing the Skoda at North and he stayed there and then bring us back or something. Well, actually, in fact, that case, he's worried about him if you haven't got to get recording to do it. Yeah, it's going to be a fair amount of hours, but it's bringing it back. Yes, that's it. Yeah, there's two going up. There's Skoda on so that. In that case, then. Right, so, okay, everything's done. And. Parcel. Some parcels. The one that's wrapped in black's got to go to a Yodel office. The paperwork that's on top is the Yodel Yodel. Yeah, I. Yeah. In jobs. Mm -hmm. Clean Joe's BMW on the outside. Mm -hmm. And. Refit the correct tyres on the back of the transit van. Yes, yes. Yeah. That's the only two jobs I'm going to do. My colleague can take it down the farm. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then after that, it'll be back on to doing sales cars. Yeah. So that's the two morning jobs. Cool, cool. Yeah. I've already spoken to James. He said he's going to swing on in and come and grab it from us. Um, what was that, sorry? Is that painted or is that just no, it's it's white it's primer? So I've, I've explained to him that it needs partial oh. texture. It needs partial texture taken out of it. Sorry. Um, well, um, I've gone and checked it against the other one and, and they're not fully yeah. texture removed so he's, he's going to come and have a look at it against the van but yeah I've already said to him, given him a time scale, told him to go to MOT next Tuesday so he's like oh mate I've got plenty of time yeah. so that's sorted right. well it looks nice from there yeah, look at the size of it they're pretty big what is that? It doesn't look too bad Josh, what's your like? it's, it's alright, it's quite loud for a diesel but it's exactly how I expect the fit, these are the sound. It's not bad. I was sanding parts while I was doing it, but... It sounds like injector. Josh? Yeah. That sounds injector -y. It does a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah. Which you could be this close. Where there, Josh, where there? Let me chuck some screws into this. to 500. Yeah, I'm just going like, wah, wah. What you like, is it? Uh, maybe could be left over then. That's, how it That's air going through the system. Next one. It's just low on fluid. Got a leak or something. Right, let's go and find some of this. That means it's fixed itself, right? Well, I don't know where anything's kept anymore. I know, it's all in the corner now, isn't it? Yep. Oh, this is going to go terribly wrong. Yeah, that's not going to go right. See the size of the hole I'm gonna pour it through. Yeah. <laughs> right, that's never gonna, that's, that's literally gonna pour everywhere. <laughs> Funnel acquired. Ah, oh, even the funnel's too big. <laughs> that was it. Yeah. That was literally it. The centimeters worth of fluid. Let's see if it's still noisy. Missing here. Yeah. Oh, 
my knees. It's been a long time since I've done tyres. Say, mate, like a professional. Let's get some footage of us for our for your favourite weekly roundup. Yeah. For the weekly roundup, I'm gonna be on. I'm gonna be on the weekly roundup. Yeah. I was thinking it was a bit of a laugh this time, rather than wear a cap. If if all the time I'm on video, you can put a little black square of my bowl patch. You know, like you know, <laughs> well, we like, all need one of those. You know that tracking thing you put to blur out like information. Yeah. Just do that. <laughs> we'll just tell everyone you've got a, like a rude tattoo on you. No, because there was a complaint last time. Someone put only an idiot wears a cap inside. Oh really? Something like yeah. Exactly. I mean, it doesn't really bother. But I thought just take the piss out of it and say so I'm gonna not wear the cap to keep you happy. Um, but to hide my modesty, we can have a bold patch square. <laughs> well, it's a lot. It's a lot colder in the auction halls than it is sat in your office bidding online, isn't it? Exactly, it is. Yeah, yeah. It should be quite. It should be about nine degrees tomorrow, I think, which is pretty balmy, considering how it has been. You know, the last balmy. time we were here, it was snowing. So, for the benefit of the viewers, we're now um, just stuck in like. Are we on now? Are we live? Yeah, we are. The whole thing. Yeah, I got all that. That's all going. You got in all there. of that. Okay. <laughs> I... uh, yeah. So, for the benefit of the viewers, it's. Wednesday, it's around about five o'clock. That's, that's what it is. We've hit rush hour now. Do you know what it was? Because you turned up late and wanted to look around the farm. No, for, the, for the benefit of years, rather than paying any attention to sat nav, you managed to take us through the centre of Birmingham in rush hour, and I am busting for a waz. That's what's happened. I'll obviously, I am take the scenic route. literally going to sort myself on camera. <laughs> <laughs> it was oil slick last time. This time, it's oh, going to be sake. even worse. Uh, right, if so you we can need slow to the down, he's got a bit of an old man valve, is what he's trying to say. If you can slow down, I'm going to ask any ladies long if there's any tenor, tenor, tenor <laughs> ladies I can borrow because <laughs> we're going to have a bad accident if we can't get out of this traffic soon. Yeah, how, how we've ended up in Birmingham, I don't know. I shouldn't have probably followed a nine year old BMW sat nav system. Yeah. I mean, it got us there fine last time. Whether it picked up on some. Uh... I feel like we've been travelling for a city for the, the last five or six hours. Yeah, I mean, this I've journey seen... should take us four hours. It's... And the last time we came up here, we were like an hour away for like three hours, unfortunately. But is Birmingham like the size of Devon? Because it. I, it literally, is, yeah. I could have gone from where I am to like Land's End by now. Yeah. It's essentially a different country, to be fair. That is. I'm seeing lots of new cars. You don't see that down my way. Yeah, they're usually just pulling out in front of you for no reason, with no warning, aren't they? They would seem. There's a lot of Mercedes, aren't there? They do like their Mercedes up here. That is the most bloated and ugly car ever, isn't it? Imagine having that much money in a car and it's still looking like a jelly mold. Yeah. Like, I, I know why then, just looking at it from that angle, I used to think they looked all right, but looking at it from that angle, it looks like a beluga whale's head. It does, do it? Yeah. I said jelly mold, it actually just reminds me like one of those Kenwood mixer bowls. It's, it's bad, isn't it, when the Volvos are the most interesting looking cars. I quite like the new Peugeots as well. A lot of those oh, we want, oh, Jesus. Look how bloody complicated the... It's actually asking you to go down the middle there and there's no road in the it's middle there. It's essentially asking us to do a corkscrew manoeuvre here. This is why so many cars get written off in Birmingham. It's like, go left, go right, go left. Yeah. 
I couldn't live here. Uh, this is an absolute nightmare. This is... No, it would do my head as well. And it's not, to be fair though, it's not as bad as Bristol. Bristol, yeah, Bristol is just, just jam, isn't it? Absolute jam. At least the roads are somewhat bigger here and they've actually got directions and it's not like go three different ways on one roundabout. I mean, it's nearly taken us as long to get through this as it did to get from the gates to your farm to your farmhouse buildings. Yeah, nearly. Not quite as, obviously. It's the shifting metal estate, I think <laughs> we call it. Do you have tenant farmers? Yes, we, one doesn't get time to plough one's own fields. <laughs> My mum went somewhere else for that. I, was, uh, I put a video out yesterday on the McGann, and at one point, it was a cheat on McGann, I was whittering on about how the spark plugs need to be replaced, and I went to pull the dipstick out, and on those early 2002 McGanns, the dipstick's about that long. Right. So I go and grab the tip there, I go, Sorry, I was surprised for all that. I've not seen the dipstick that short in a long while. And so I went in the comments and said, that's what Mrs. Chop says. And I was like, fair play, you win the internet today. I hadn't thought of it at all when I said it. Well, that's like the abuse I get from my nostrils. People saying, I've got magnificent big Don't nostrils. I? But people can't comment on my nostrils because I do have big nostrils. But my favorite ever was on some Facebook thing. Some guy said, what did he say? I don't know, but I made some kind of like sarky comment to him, like jokey comment back about like, oh, I can't remember what it was. What did I say? It's not a very good joke now, is it? I <laughs> lost him to stuff. But anyway, I was mocking him saying like, oh, where's the whatever, whatever. And he replied, oh, I don't know, mate, but I thought you would have sniffed it out. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, fair play. I like it. Good. I, one I haven't too. heard before. I did promise um, James I'd buy him a bacon sandwich today, so uh, I was I was relying on that, Sam. Thanks. Bacon sandwich. Just wait to see the road action. Block lane, red lane. Bacon sandwich. Then on the big screen, so you'll be able to buy it. Yeah, can't yeah, I love that. Or then you'll have Liam on this lane, or uh, that lane, you'll be able to go, yeah, I love that. Oh, no, I love that. All we need to do is get all three of us on there, and you can get, you know, like a shot of us just what spinning was the around. Limit? Mm. Joe suggested three Dave, will, Dave will be all right, table. but I don't know about us two. Yeah, I think, I think he might overwhelm it. There was a nightclub in Newcastle. Is this is this a PG oh, story? Yes. And they had the revolving dance floor. Oh really? Dance floor, and you're dancing oh, and you're going God. <laughs> God, I can imagine that was a nightmare. <laughs> That's why I have to be careful of. Just notice I'm not my phone into time lapse. Does that camera take pictures from all the inside? From all the yeah, it's an Insta 360 thing. That's cool. That save me a bit of time. Stand in one of the yeah. I won't do that again. Yeah, they have. They've got to be cheap, haven't they? Really? That doesn't sound a lot of money at all. Give over. Joe from Shifting Metal. Joe kindly invited us today to come to the auction. And uh, we've got a little challenge. So we've got... It's up to 10 grand to spend, isn't it? That's on, the plan. So I'm not going you to can spend less, but... Yeah, yeah so, so I'm not going to spend 10 grand on a car. So we're going to try and get a car for under 10 grand, we've got to prep it, sell it, and then Joe's got like a point system, haven't you? Yeah, so but well, the, the simple idea is we'll try and see who can make the most money, but if it takes you forever to sell it, then you need to be deducted some points. Yeah, yeah. If you buy something really cheap and you double your money, you've had a really good return on investment, yeah. you should get some points for that. Yeah. So, so it's not solely just on the profit then? No, no. I mean, I have made a set of rules. I've forgotten them already. <laughs> I'll let you know them after this. <laughs> And we'll just put it there. So you've got to yeah. choose. You can buy as many cars as you want. Yeah. And then at the end of the day, you've got to pick your competitor. I think, unlike James, the last time we did this, yeah. he was like, "I'm going to do this one." Then it was, "No, nah, I'll yeah, do this one." one car, then he yeah, worked yeah. out all the figures. He's like, "I'll, I'll, I'll do the one with the most money in it." That's yeah. total misrepresentation. And then, and, then, <laughs> and then we've got a bit of an advantage because we're at Castleford, and it's like yeah. a 45-minute drive to the pitch. 
where James here, you're how, how far away you live. Oh, four hours easy, isn't it? Oh, well, it's yeah. four hours back to my place, oh, and there's hours. another yeah, five hours, hour and a half, probably, so or something. Need to take some and I'm in North Devon, where people don't have a lot of cash to buy flash cars, so I right, normally so. do the budget end of the market. Yeah. 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 So Listen to him. Okay. People so in Devon don't have money. When he's in Yorkshire. <laughs> yeah. They don't, have, they don't have like a farm they buy just to store a couple of cars on. They don't ah, have that kind of money. Here we go. Yeah. 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 Right, so this, this is the end of the day. Three o'clock, we've been here since yeah. ten. Got an absolutely knackered now. And, um, I came straight so out, yeah. so commiserations today. Sorry, yeah, yeah. I'm just <laughs> gloating, just stroking my ears. It is gloating because I think to be fair though, it's absolutely beautiful. Shall we have a deal though that if it's finance, that we don't count it until the twelve months is back? <laughs> There's always some extra rule with James. Yeah, but the, the possibility of this is going to get a lot of bollocks, maybe. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, it's not. Like it's just people like that. It doesn't make people. But, what did you get it for? What did you get it for? Five knives, I believe. It should be yeah. nine. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 Good job. I much prefer the Nissan Bulls. For like less headed. I just want yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Running out two one car. I think two cars the same price for the one. Yeah, it's only one car. If I did say at the beginning, just one car, it doesn't matter how much you spend. Yeah. Right. But if you get a better result with less than one, because I'll have spent, say, like, I think it's six and a half. Yeah, I'll get. Yeah, you get the brand that you want to be honest, this is what I came out intending to buy because I was only in one car, so I thought I'd buy something like this. But then this room makes it. You fell back into James. I fell back into James. So, so, so you, you fell back into the old persona? Yeah. I bought a new. You bought my, this? My new persona is fine, the same stuff you do. Lower mileage, newer stuff, and I was like, that's a few hours. And then you bought the same stuff you've got to go on Yeah, I bought BMW and Audi. You're in your comfort zone, aren't you? That's what it is. You just don't want to stand for the other side. Not as bad today, but yeah. You better, yeah. You can do nice things. Mine will still be in stock in a year's time. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the thing. We did the challenge. What did we do the challenge? A month ago? And yeah. We still got both the cars in stock that we got. Which yeah, for yeah. me is a really long time. I'm going to get rid of them all for them. Yeah. That's probably because I'm hanging on to find the special ones. I don't know what's like, how we're going to do this bit, how we're going to do that bit. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, I hope you're doing well. Today, we're not at Berrimer, as you can probably tell by the sign behind me, we're at Kharki in Derby. So it's actually like a really interesting setup. This is obviously an old like boat hangar, is that what they would call it? A boat kind of warehouse. Look at this beast of a Volvo S90. That's right up my street to be honest. Our design, 15,295. That's, um, that's like an S8. Not an S8. That's like an A8 sort of uh, 7 Series style car, isn't it? Very nice. Here's, here's the Marina. Let's go and check that out. I feel like probably every car dealer needs someone they could come and sit here. I'm surprised Jamie hasn't got a little bench out here where he can just sit and look at the water and relax in between calls from screamers and all the problems that every car dealer gets. Ooh. This is a nice looking car. What is it, a 630? Yeah, 630i Grand Tora. Hey lads, you alright? We're just going around with our. You see us going around with the camera. Just, if you don't want to be in it, just let me know. Yeah, so obviously they've got their big showroom, which is actually really nice to have. I've seen it completely full up in here before because Jamie's quite active on social media, so you'll, you've seen the garage quite a lot if you follow Car Key on Instagram, which I believe is just at Car Key. 
sort of thing I fancy one day, but I've got to get Jimmy to teach me how to actually, you know, make good money from car sales first. So uh, let's see if we can catch a minute of his time and steal all of his uh, tips and tricks. But I do, I do all the buying, all the marketing, the money, and just all the big stuff. Yeah. You know, like... Well, it's the same as me on a much smaller scale. Yeah. But that's half the reason why I come to speak to you. Because yes. I listen to you on, say, like... Um, uh, you know, Dave, we've got Car Dealer Pro podcast. You went on there anyway at some point, and it was saying, "There's the only person I've ever heard say that running your business is like it's like playing a game, like a video it's, game." Yeah, it is like you know, it is. it's like you say, like the sort of empire builder. Type yeah, it thing. is. That's how I think. Yeah, like Sim City, don't... man. Sim City, like I just you know, right? I'll put uh, right. So I've grown to this point. So I need to put fire station in now. I need to put power plant, and then I need to build some more road, and and just and then you start to see like your your income start to increase, and you know what I mean, and your population starts to grow. And it is, yeah. it's, it's, you know, I think we're in a world now where, um, certainly with with learning, things are being gamified, and I'm on. I use Duolingo, which I'm trying to learn a bit of Spanish. Okay. So I'm going to Spain, and I just thought the amount of time I spend on my phone. I'm clearly addicted to being on my phone. Yeah. So I'm like, right, so if I can just get a bit of value out of that time, and it's like playing a game. But I was yeah. doing it on a, a dog walk this morning. I was out for 40 minutes, and I'm like, buenos dias. And like, you know, and uh, I can't think of anything else that, off the top of my head. But, por favor. Por, yeah, por favor. Uh, mi, necess mi, ne mi necessitito dinero. You know, I need money. You know, like little things so that when I go, because if we ever go on holiday to Europe, I'm terrible, like terrible. Like mm. I don't even try. Yeah. I'm embarrassed to I'm say embarrassed the wrong thing. Yeah, like I walk in it and I be just become unashamedly English. Hello, thank you. You yeah, know, yeah, instead yeah. of saying gracias. Almost and stuff getting like out of the front there. Let everyone know I'm very English. But yeah. There's no chance I'm going to be trying. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Saturday. It's actually what time is it now? Uh, half twelve. So I've been here for a little while, but got no Toby today because I said he, you know, I wanted him to have the Saturday off because he's been with me for the last two and a half days. I can't stand him. No, I'm just joking. He's uh, obviously done a couple of overnighters with us while we've been away at G3 and then at Car Key. Um, so you know, well, those overnighters have been away from Mrs. and kid and puppy and whatever. So I'm gonna thought I'd let him have the full weekend off because I'm just such a nice guy. Anyway, that means that all the footage is going to be taken on my GoPro today. Um, and I've been sorting out stuff this morning as you would do, catching up after two and a half days off. Um, we've got our S5, not S5, A5 Sportback. What a nice car that is. In. Jason's just sold the Evoke, so that's good news. Um, I think we almost had someone on the Avio that we've got as well, but He's having a think on that. I've come to check out this bad boy that we've taken in part exchange. Look at that, I might have to get it in the wash bay, I think. So here is our 2011 Berlingo, clearly being a dog fan, so it's probably gonna be really doggy inside, isn't it? Oh, look at the, the bodywork on there. We've given 2,000 pounds for this. I don't know what the mileage is off the top of my head, but we, this was our, our Torneo customer. So that was the car they wanted. Obviously wanted to upgrade this one into the lovely Torneo they've got. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a farm car for sure. Magnetic signs, but apparently there was a... I weren't sure about taking them off because obviously they seem quite stuck as well. So I th Oh God, yeah. And you end up doing that, taking the paint right off. So that's going to be a job for Jordan and Mark on Monday, I think. Get some heat on there before they try and take that off because I've just done that cold and... I mean, how much damage could I really have done there? Oh my god, this is definitely going to need a good valet. You can almost smell the interior from here, can't you? Just know that it's going to be so doggy in there. Let's have a look. We've um, got, you know, our V5, quite a lot of service history. This is interesting, isn't it? Because this is the key, or one of the keys, but it's clearly a, a remade one because that's like an Audi key, isn't it? Like a box like an Audi group key. Oh, always good when you see a bit of house carpet in here. Oh yeah, it is doggy, that's for sure. Very doggy, this is definitely going to be a farm car. It's not something we're going to retail from here. 
but you know what we've we got 121,000 miles uh 11 plate we give them two grand for it is that good or bad i don't know i'm sure jason's obviously done this thing if we can sell it on as a trader for three grand then we've done well haven't we just need to get some air fresher in here give it a bloody good clean you can already tell how much better that will look just for having a clean but uh it's almost tempting to just leave the leave the stickers on although i don't know that would be very lazy wouldn't it um yeah you can get carried away with your sort of tradey stuff cleaning it up and all that sort of stuff when you really do you need to talking of bilingos we've got a is it a bilingo? yes it's bilingo. our one over here which is quite a nice one it's the like modular roof one it's sold as well it's sold the uh transit custom which we've got a new panel down here so we bought a new one of these completely new from ford it amazed us we thought it was gonna be really expensive it's 40 quid and it's like semi-primed already that's gone off to james at j repairs he's gonna paint that up for us and uh yeah we'll get that on there it's going down to someone in cornwall i think it's a lovely van no interest on our fake v8 why they put a v8 badge on there when it's a uh i think it's a four-cylinder diesel engine to be honest uh yeah who knows got someone just having a look at the maserati up there i keep meaning to do a video on that it'd be some flaw now wouldn't it if it sells it before uh before i get a chance to but you know i won't mind if we've got a sale anyway i want to check out that nice a4 we've got there that came from a subscriber i think i'll let this chap check out his car when they go out for a test drive we'll have a look at that but yeah that looks uh that looks pretty nice that came from a subscriber through Carsport for more i'm sure um this evoke actually it's nicer than i remember it it's been tucked away really a couple of things we've got to do is sort out these badges um so we're gonna have to do the whole taping thing you can get a kit usually that are like pre-spaced but i think most people unspace them that's a job for jordan he will love doing that tape it off and make sure it's all right touch up some of the wheels but yeah they're quite smart things aren't they just warranty stuff is more issue with those that is our part exchange v60 or whatever it is uh which means sorry that he's come to collect his toyota verso and jason's out dealing with the channel of the maserati so i'll try to do that quickly right that's handover done with the uh verso and dan as you can see he's got the nice volvo out there so it's really nice we'll get some pictures of that in a minute and we'll put it on social media Jason has just got back with a Maserati I can tell he's got it in sport mode and giving it some revs so hopefully that means the guy likes it because it does make a kind of very good noise when the uh, sport mode's on he's found the button yeah I can say <laughs> I can hear it from here um, I, can't, I don't think there's anything we really wanted to do with that I think it's all it is gorgeous it's so nice it is a nice car yeah it, it drives well as well I've got the kind of just form out to uh, make a just driving a car using like this is so nice I only took out the road because I could tell how nice it was when we did the, the um yeah it's definitely <laughs> it's definitely right figures <laughs> maybe boys out of the oh yes because that's one of those cars that exhaust system I thought it was piped into the car but it isn't it does do something with the exhaust but I don't know what the system actually does that sounds nice like Saturday it. Steph Good. Yeah, the thing is, it's got that something about it. It's a V6 diesel, but it makes like a V8 noise over the top. It's a bit weird of a. I'm not a fan of that. The, 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 that red. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's like that. That's like Maserati, the diesel Maserati. Yeah. Mm. Piss on it, he's on fire. <laughs> you're supposed to be saying nice things because you're supposed to be asking jokes. Mr. Cheerful. I can't wait to work on it. <laughs> yeah. Right, so it's uh, nearly three o'clock now. We've technically been closed for an hour, but it was a little flurry of stuff going on then. We had someone come and look at the Edition 35 Golf GTI, and we had the chap who was out in the Maserati. Jason's given him a prize for a part exchange on his car. He seemed very keen on it. He was out there, big grin on his face while you know they were revving it up and whatever. So, you know, that one could be positive. Jason's coming in tomorrow because he's got someone coming to have a look at the 
hybrid Yaris. So fingers crossed that could be a deal done as well. I don't think I filmed it, but I put it on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, it's shifting underscore metal. The Porsche service paperwork has turned up. So we've got all of our Porsche specialist, par, whatever service history back again now. So that's made a huge difference to the value of that car. Um, takes it from being, you know, half value probably to, you know, back to a decent value. I haven't had the PCM, the head unit back, but maybe he's decided to send them separately because that came as a recorded delivery, considering I wanted £2,295 off of him. He probably wanted to make sure it got here, which was a sensible choice. If you haven't seen the video about the Porsche, um, I'll get Toby to put that up here. Uh, we are buying back. I'm going to take you out of the showroom, show you. We've given it a quick clean now. Um, and it's in here. I'm trying to sort this showroom out to make it a bit nicer. It does look nice under the lights. Apologies for the flickering lights. Good old GoPro. Um, yeah, you would have seen us having a sort out in here, making this back into a showroom rather than a valeting bay because it's right on the front of the business here and doesn't really look very good to just be scrubbing cars as a kind of display for the business. Anyway, that's irrelevant. So yeah, the Porsche, don't know how well you're gonna see with the light in here, is looking nice now. Um, got the service history back, we've got all the keys now. Um, I need the original head unit back, really. There's a few things to sort out as well. I think I quite want to just send that to a Porsche specialist. There is a Porsche specialist in Bristol or Western uh, called Porsche Mode. And there's one we've used before, which is SCS Porsche Supercar Specialists um, to get them to just, you know, give it a clean bill of health, really. And then we can get all that sorted. So, but I guess all there is left really is to talk about best car bought and best car sold. Let's have a little wander out. I think the best car sold, it would be fair to say, would be the Evoque that is up the top of the forecourt here. Uh, Jason sold that today just because we haven't had it that long, certainly less than a month, I would say, and it's got a good margin in it. We're getting a well, I say a decent part exchange. We've got an Insignia coming in for a couple of grand. Um, you know, it's not a great car, but there'll be some good profit in it. I just think that's a that's a nice car, that. Um, full Range Rover, Land Rover service history. Um, yeah, just a nice thing. I mean, it, I'd be remiss to not say that was the best purchase of the week. Um, if you haven't seen already our auction video challenge with Car Dealer Pro and Chopped Garage, then Toby will put that up here. I think it should be out by the time this video comes out. But just looking at it, I still haven't looked around properly, and I said we would. This A4 that we bought from a subscriber, I love these, what do they call them? Like rotor, rotors, turbine, whatever. These wheels, I do like them. I never used to like them, but now I do. A manual to be honest i would have preferred an auto but it's got a nice flat bottom steering wheel it's an s line it's all black you know it's a similar sort of thing isn't it we should get that that and the s5 parked up together because yeah that's just a pretty cool mean looking thing and it's a really really nice condition jordan was saying something about the whole bonnet has been painted and you know probably wants whatever but that's jordan just being you know, picky Look at that. for a, what is it, 13 year old car, that's absolutely spot on. So credit to who we got that from. I will try and put it in at the bottom here or something, because Jason dealt with it, but they were subscribers to the channel, I'm fairly certain. So thank you very much for your business. Thank you for selling us your car. If you want to sell us your car, then you can do. Head to carsboughtformore.com, enter your information, we will get back to you and try and give you a decent price. And you can see it here on the forecourt looking beautiful. So that is it for this week. Um, I'm going to go down the farm office, do a couple of little bits. I've got to swap over, take a Galaxy down there that we took in part exchange. That's going to be a car for Sophie to sell from down the farm. Um, and I'm going to grab some of the stuff. In fact, I'm going to take the Galaxy down there pick up the BMW, which Toby dropped off there, and head home today, the rest of Saturday. I just want to put my feet up and chill out. I'm absolutely exhausted from being away for a couple of days. I stayed up last night to watch uh, AJ versus Ngano fight. 
um, which wasn't worth it. As per usual, when I stay up to wait, it was like a two minute fight. But um, I am feeling kind of like really energized again and yeah, positive. Um, I was getting I was getting a bit down, to be honest. As you can probably tell, a lot of you say I was looking down. I was, it just seemed to be non-stop problems, but I think getting away from the business for a couple of days, go and see some other trades, go and see my friends over at auction, uh, go and see Jamie at Car Key. Go and see Jamie at Car Key. He's got 250, 300 cars and expecting him to have all these things that you would tell me that, you know, basically I'm doing wrong or, or I'd see that he was doing so much differently. But it's not really. It's interesting to see we do things the same way and we've got the same sort of thoughts. Everyone struggles with, you know, prepping their cars in advance of selling them, um, you know, just being busy when you get a flurry of sales, dealing with your warranty stuff. Everyone's got to deal with them. But I think just seeing someone else doing it and just dealing with it, he was there answering his phone, busy all day. Um, yeah, it just re-energized me. So thank you to Jamie as well. Thank you to G3 for having us this week. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I feel like next week's going to be a really positive one. I'm going to be on it like a car bonnet. So yeah, make sure you like the video. If you've enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe because you'll get to see all the other ones. This is episode 29. Next week will be the 30th episode, special edition. Maybe we'll try and do something special, I don't know. But yes, make sure you subscribe. Everybody subscribing really helps out, boost the channel. It helps me be able to set aside time to go and do these things, like going and visiting Jamie, going to the auctions, getting this stuff, making it worthwhile, taking away my time from the business to do the videos. So if you have already, thank you. If you haven't, hit the button, and I'll see you next week.